Take a look at this document. Any idea what that is? That's his uh, certificate of citizenship. That is when your grandfather became an American citizen. Would you please read the highlighted Gosh, section? Wow. Be it known that Ralph Totoro, having petitioned to be admitted a citizen of the United States, is hereunto affirm this 10th day of November in the year of our Lord, 1930. That's his certificate of citizenship. Wow. The complexion. Dark. Dark. There you go. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's very moving mm. for me. It's a big journey. Big time. And look, and they have like Raphael, and then they put Ralph on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, though. <laughs> Americanizing him, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. He became an American citizen in November of 1930, right. and a little more than a year later, his wife and child arrived. Did your father talk about what it was like to get here and what America was like? Yeah, he told me that, uh, you know, he had never seen different kinds of people, you know, yeah. different where he <laughs> yeah. grew up. He had never been to a movie theater. Mm -hmm. He saw Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde <laughs> very early on, uh. which I'm, I'm surprised they took him to that. Uh, Something to help you sleep at night. <laughs> yeah, they put him in front of the class. They made him sit in the front because he, he, he couldn't speak English. Oh, man. And uh, he said he was really kind of terrified. You know, he didn't know any, you know. It had to be traumatic, man. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. They all made huge sacrifices to come to the United States and more especially to become Americans. Well, I think that, uh, you know, people were looking for a life. But that's a big journey to leave your language, your culture, to everything you know, your family, and, you know, to go it alone. Yeah. And so someone like him, I look at him and I say, you know, that's, that's, that's the reason why I'm, that I'm doing well, or that I'm talking to you. Yeah. It's because of him.